Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, man, the time is finally here. The draft is tomorrow. Um, I got a few announcements that I want to make before tomorrow's draft. So this will be the last video before the draft live stream. So listen, tomorrow, um, what's going to happen is, you know, gaslight on deck. So tomorrow, what's going to happen is, you know what I'm saying? The Hurt Season hats will definitely be on sale. Tomorrow, what you want to do, what you want to do tomorrow is use code Draft Brunson when you go to the Print Champs website and get a discounted rate on all your Hurt Season hats. So probably all your merchandise. I think the code should work for everything on the site. But if people that are still looking to get their Hurt Season hats, make sure you do it that way. Um, wait for the sale tomorrow. The sale is going to be going on from now until, you know, the end of draft weekend. Um, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, man. I'm going to be giving away one lucky person. You know what I'm saying? A Manscaped bundle. I'm going to be giving away a Manscaped bundle to one lucky person. You know what I'm saying? The, uh, the sponsors are on deck with it. You guys have been amazing. Um, if you don't get the bundle, man, have no fear. You're still able to use code Brunson at, at your Manscaped checkout for 20% off and free shipping. Um, but tomorrow we will be giving that away. I was going to do gift cards tomorrow. But who got time to go to the store and get gift cards, man? Tomorrow, man, when I say so, man, make sure you have your cash app ready. I'm giving away money on the spot tomorrow to two lucky people as well. You know what I mean? That's going to be in the live stream. So there's just some 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 thank yous, man. You know what I'm saying? From me to you all for always, man, make it, for always, you know, holding me down. Y'all been holding me down since I started this journey. And it's just, you know, it's just overwhelming. You know what I'm saying? The, the love and support that I get from you all. Um, last but not least, man, I know you all seen what happened with Teddy Bridgewater. Uh, Teddy Bridgewater, the situation with Teddy Bridgewater just confirms, you know, how I've been feeling about this quarterback draft class the entire time. You got teams that are willing to, you know, run with Teddy Bridgewater before they, you know, you know what I'm saying? Before they go all in on one of these quarterbacks. The Broncos, you know, took Teddy Bridgewater for a six round pick. Decided to stay with Teddy Bridgewater is looking like before they would, you know, consider a quarterback in his draft at that position. I think the Broncos were, where were the Broncos, like nine or something like that. So it is what it is, man. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. Tomorrow is just going to be crazy, man. The amount of trades that went down, the amount of movement that we're seeing, the amount of reports that we're seeing about people not wanting to stay in high positions, people wanting to get from them low positions to a high position in the first round. It's just crazy. And the Philadelphia Eagles are in the perfect spot. They're in a, they're in a semi-high position right outside of the top 10 to where they could still make some things shake. And I couldn't be happier for the way that this thing is folded out. We got a first round pick out of it. But tomorrow is the day that Howie Roseman either decides to redeem himself or decides to continue on being the laughing stock of the Philadelphia Eagles brass. To, to, to Howie, Roseman, Howie Roseman has to fix his situation. Howie Roseman has to, you know, come out of this thing and... and, and and understand that, you know, we need players that's ready to play now. We don't need projects. We don't need reaches. We need guys who are ready to play now. And, um, you know, if you really want to know how I feel and what direction we should go in, I'm kind of leaning towards the best wide receiver available. I think that you use that pick that you got from the Miami Dolphins as leverage in order to move up into a spot to where you can for certain, for sure, get you a Devonta Smith move up and make sure you can get Devonta Smith. You got the leverage to do so. You got the leverage to do so. You know what I'm saying? I'm a firm believer that you can throw in that pick you got from the Dolphins, that first round pick. You could throw in Zach Ertz and you could throw in that 12th pick this year to the Atlanta Falcons and move up to four and guarantee yourself a Jamar Chase, a Kyle Pitts or Devonta Smith, whoever you think is the guy for you. Jalen Waddle, whatever you think. You can move up and you can make that happen. The Philadelphia Eagles have the leverage to do it, so there's absolutely no reason why this team shouldn't be moving up if they're zeroing in on a guy like that. Or you can stay there and hope J.C. Horn is there. But the Dallas Cowboys, I'm hearing reports that they're absolutely torn between J.C. Horn and Patrick Sertan. So we just got to see where that goes. Oh, and last but not least, before we close it out, I will be on live stream with Philly 500 tonight at 530 Eastern time, about an hour and a half from right now. Make sure you tap in with that. It's going to be a movie. Me and my guy, 5-0-0, oh, going to talk about our draft board briefly. Going to talk about the selections on the draft board. We also going to talk about, you know what I'm saying, 
tomorrow, man. It's going to be great to pick the brains of one of the goats on this, man, at Philly 500. You know what I'm saying? Two goats talking, man. It's, it's, it's always going to be a movie, man. So listen, man, tomorrow is the day. Either we're going to laugh together or we're going to cry together. But tomorrow is the day, draft day, 2021. 